Hello and welcome, it's Roof Monger, and we have another installment of our tips and tricks guide, this time detailing Jetta in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. So in this video, I'm going to be detailing uh, some stuff about his special moves, maybe some stuff you don't know. Uh, his aerial offense, which is pretty good even by Marvel standards, uh, is super in specific, this one here. Uh, some quick mix-up stuff. I do have a mix-up guide detailing the Scythe Ball. That'll be a companion bit to this at the end of the video, so please check that out. Uh, quick note on which uh, Infinity Gems or which uh, he can really make use of over some other ones. And uh, that's kind of everything we're going to go over to it, so let's head into it. Now, to go over special moves, let's talk about the most important special move when you're not in the middle of a combo, which is the Pinwheel. So uh, depending on the strength of the button press, it's going to come different height, and that's the same deal when you do it in the air. Depending on the button press, it'll have a different angle, and you can hold it for a much larger pinwheel, as you can see here. Now do keep in mind, once you throw a pinwheel, if you throw out another one, your current one is going to dissipate. So what makes this move so good is it kind of just owns the chunk of the screen it's in. And a simple fireball is not going to deal with it. Like, uh, so we're going to shoot one here and let's switch to Dante. So here he pumped a bunch of bullets into it. And the pinwheel still stands. So that's not going to be the case against every single projectile. Uh, it does tend to lose the beams, unfortunately. See here he still got hit through that. But uh, for the most part, it's a good way to control the screen. As long as this part is on the screen... Uh, it's effectively no one's going to want to go near it, because, you know, if they do, they're going to get hit. And any given hit, if you're quick enough on the ball, you can always convert it into a, at least a level 1 super. So, that's part of what makes it such a fantastic thing. It's kind of his signature move, and it's why he controls space, and that's his main game plan for the most part. Uh, now next up we have the scythe, and honestly, the scythe moves, both uh, light kick and heavy kick, they're simply your co uh, combo fodder. They only exist to help your main combo get through, and that's kind of it. They don't really have too much of a use in neutral that I've seen. Like right there, you see here, the hitbox went clear through them. Uh, the hitbox is somewhat deceptive. It is really only used for combos. Uh, he does have a air throw when you go from the air to the ground. And that is some use in the mix-up, so if you do have in the mix-up guide, and if you are in the corner, you can get a follow-up. So you get the tried and true follow up after that. We do have the air pinwheel and once again for the most part combo fodder unless you're just desperate to escape out of the corner or something like that. We have of course, you know, uh, Scythe Ball. I keep forgetting its proper name because every name he has. If you check the move list, everything is in Latin. Or perhaps Italian. I don't know the difference between languages unfortunately. But yeah, so I just call it Scythe Ball because there's the ball and there's the Scythe. Yeah, once again, combo fodder, but please keep in mind, no matter how big the combo before it, this is a true hard knockdown. No matter what, they cannot get up early from this, no matter how big the combo proceeding that was, and that's what makes it such a fantastic end of your combos. And uh, the last two special moves we have, real quick, are this gentleman here. Uh, the air stabs, and honestly, I don't know much of a use for it. Like, uh, the only real use I've used it for is when I just want to get him out of the ring. So I'll go for it, tag out, and you know, maybe it'll hit, maybe it'll keep a little pressure on, but it doesn't seem at the moment to have much use. And lastly, we just, he has a classic flight. He doesn't have much in the way of fly combos like some other characters, but you can always kind of use the time scam, hang at the end of the screen. You can see up uh, quite a bit in the air doing this. So, and if you just want to see it at the top of the screen, you know, it's always good for that at the very least. So I do want to talk about one super in particular. Uh, not so much the pinwheel or level 3. They're both uh, pinwheels com combo fodder, level 3. You know, it does what it has to do, but it's just damage. I want to talk about Finale Rosso. So, uh, it is a name I do remember, despite uh, the crazy names, because I did play a bit of Vampire Survivor back in the day. Uh, so the main property of that move is no matter where you are on the screen, it tracks. So it is kind of unique in that it really punishes people for not minding their business and just kind of whiffing things or just not being on the ball. So if you're doing something stupid like whiffing moves full screen, you can catch them dead to rights and free damage. 
And you can, although it is difficult, but yeah, if one time it correctly, you can tag right during the startup of it. Or connects. Like I said, it is difficult, so let's try that again. So you see here, we tagged out, so Nemesis is waiting. And he can get a hit or so afterwards. Some people have better setups after that, but uh, the fact that you can have the person on screen waiting for that pop-up is another big deal. But yeah, uh, it is just uh, really good in what it needs to do. So once again, if you're willing to burn two bars combo, you can always burn two bars, get that bit extra damage. And it's just, it's really good nabbing people sleeping, doing stupid things from full screen when they think they're safe. So Jetta actually has a fantastic aerial based offense and he's not even one of the eight way dash characters like an Ultron or a Nova. So him and Morgan uh, have more traditional Darkstalker style movement. So when they dash, you can see here, uh, leaving the ground, him and Morgan both do this. So they have no traditional dash, but this means uh, they can get away with some kind of wackier stuff. Like, so if you simply just go dash right into heavy kick, this is the fastest instant overhead in the game. You see here? It is hitting middle, which is an overhead, so you do have to block that hot. So, because of the dash, because uh, it makes you airborne, you can go right into it. So, if we try just some um, really basic, like, we can go right now overhead low. We're going to just do double overhead and go combo from that. And the other thing is, uh, due to the virtue of one of his jumping moves here, jumping fierce punch, you see here, uh, he kind of hands explode out and he does a lot of hits. So when you do your air dash, that's just a giant wall of hitbox that has a very easy time beating most other people's moves out if they're grounded. And you just kind of go from combos from there into whatever have you. Uh, if you are further out, you can jump forward and do it. Uh, so you will jump forward and immediately air dash and hit Fierce Punch. You see here, you can hit from fairly far away doing that. And if you are closer, you generally want to jump backwards just to uh, gain a bit of space in case they're coming at you. And then you'll come forward again sweeping in and doing the heavy punch. Just like this. And once again, Easy combo start. Easy combo drops as well, but that's the price of talking and playing at the same time. But yeah, it's, uh, his air movement is very good with this. It's been used to keep the pressure up quite well, uh, both in terms of this uh, very horizontal uh, area's control and stuff like the quick instant overheads. Now, I do want to mention some mix-up potential, so uh, covering the sideball mix-up, uh, I do have a companion video once again at the end, so please check that. I just want to talk about mix-up based off his aerial offense. So of course we quickly went over, you know, he has like instant overheads and stuff like that. Uh, but one thing to note, uh, say they are crouching, these instant overheads are now side switchers as well, so that's important to know. And. You can kind of get more varied than like, oh, overhead low, or just like a double overhead. So you can do something like uh, flight cancelling. And see here, we had double overhead that way, so let's try to make it something fancy, like a quad overhead. And see here, we did that. And if you're quick enough, uh, it actually all is a natural combo. See here, that all connected. So what you want to do in that particular scenario is you do your instant overhead roundhouse, and you flight cancel it right away. And then from the flight cancel, you hit light kick, light kick, then air dash, light kick again. You will need a bit of speed. I'm sure you can hear my inputs. So there you go. It's a natural four hit combo too if you do it well enough. And then from there again, you can just go start your combo into whatever, and that works. Now another layer of mix up here. And uh, this is usually only for normal sized characters. Uh, it'll work on like a Rocket Raccoon and something like a Hulk or an Nemesis generally isn't tall enough. But you can start uh, just a neutral jump right in front of their face. And this only works if they're standing, if they're crouching and old miss. So they have to be anticipating that instant overhead. And you do something really tricky, which is a uh, left right instant block. So there, uh, that hit in front and then immediately hit on the other side. So let's switch here to guard just so we can see what's going on. 
But see here, he had to switch guard sides. Right uh, immediately, one after the other. Now you can fake out with that with say, you jump backwards if they're anticipating that, and merely do the dash so they cannot cross up. And you can just go for a double overhead with a light kick, light kick coming in, or an overhead low like this. Uh, but yeah, so you can go like double overhead, uh, left, right immediately. Uh, there's some really silly stuff he can get with uh, his movement. And it's all thanks to the fact that his dash uh, leaves him airborne. And of course you can just do something really basic like instead of just, you know, jumping over their head you know, and do a proper cross up like Street Fighter style, you can just quickly jump over air dash and be on the other side with the fierce kick. So uh, yeah, he has a lot of potential of air mix ups uh, when you're in your face and it makes him pretty scary. Another quick layer to all the high low stuff is just simply, you know, if they're anticipating a block and you know, they want to block left, right, high, low, whatever, that means they're standing still. So you can immediately cancel into your air grab because you are airborne and bingo, bango, bongo, you got a free grab. I love watching you rock. Now, when it comes to the stone usage, uh, I believe uh, he is best served. Well, okay. Everyone's best served with reality, probably. But uh, besides reality, because it is really good, uh, he's best served with either mind or space. Uh, mind, uh, most simply because uh, the storm gives you a lot of bar and unless you be really, you know, you want to be really greedy, constantly going for Finale Rosso and fishing for, you know, unless you do that. And unless you have another layer to his mix up game, because you can just stop and go for the command grab and go for there. So it's just the third layer he normally wouldn't have otherwise, because his only command grab is off uh, the jumping attack. And the other stone is Space Stone, and this is the main reason, and honestly, this is one of my favorite things to do with Jetta. Just call, uh, toss your pinwheel, and you can say, hey, come into it. And that's uh, really annoying. <laughs> uh, people don't like going into the pinwheel to begin with, that's the whole point is it's a deterrent, and you can force them into the pinwheels against their will, which is great. And uh, if you are fairly on the ball, and you can see the hit happens, you can go right in Finale Rosso and get a combo from it as well. Alright, and that concludes our video for now. Uh, Jet is very fun to play so far. I don't think he's a one-size-fits-all like, say, an Ultron or Captain Marvel. Uh, in that, I think he'll need a specific character to help him out to play to his strengths. Uh, he's quite fun though. Uh, he's very faithful to the original Darkstalkers. Uh, he plays just like, you know, I remember him from back in the day, which is very fun. Uh, but anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it found you well. Go out and play some Marvel.